All right, welcome back. Hard suit campaign, episode three. Uh, last we left off, our players were leaving Mord's house, his cabin, and they were deciding on going to the next stop on their journey in the land of Atria, just to find Greeman Village. Um, and they were there to sort of... Actually, you guys tell me, why are you going to Greeman Village? What is your purpose? Well, we could use some supplies and information. You know, it's a tough world out there. We need money. It's a tough world. <laughs> And uh, I believe you were lucky enough to have Mord uh, give you guys each one supply. So currently this uh, hex that we're in, this is still part of sort of Mord's area, but you are moving into the next hex after this. So this will be part of that supply consuming when you get to the next one. And that's just a hard rule in how hard suit works. Okay, so you find yourselves in a very foggy weather i mean again you guys are very coastal here so it's important to know that um the weather here generally it rains a lot there's wind uh we do roll for random uh weather and today was fog so uh with the fog rolling in it's definitely difficult to see in front of you um but as you guys are sort of approaching the bends and i do see that um we have some players decided to hide their suits currently right so we've got uh, i believe Voshnar, you've hidden your suit uh, yeah. Leo, you have done so as well. And Felix, is yours out in the open or is it hiding as well? Uh, that's meant to be hidden. Okay, cool. That's all good. Um, all right, and you guys are sort of spread out and you are walking down the road. Uh, and as you do so, uh, in the distance, what you guys can probably see first is going to be a, a crossroads sign. And it does have four-way split, and that is what you see. And in the distance, there is also a, a character. You can see it's hard to tell what it is but you know silhouette is somebody with long hair and some small other creature and then there is a wagon and the wagon is currently looks like it's stuck in mud and uh let's start with let's go from the top actually so galileo what do you do so um i am going to you know i feel like I'm probably not able to see very well right now, so I'm just going to walk into the fog, follow the path. And you definitely uh, can see these people struggling up here. They're fussing around with this vehicle. Uh, hello there. Is, is there any problems? Uh, and as soon as you say that, immediately this female character has a bow, and she takes it out and draws it upon you. And she says, speak your business or leave. Well, you're you're blocking the path. My little, business is right over there. Okay. And a little character comes up to you, a small one. Uh, as you look at him, he looks like a, kind of a bird, but kind of a man. And this uh, figure is uh, holding a staff that's kind of glowing, and you sort of see it illuminating in the in the fog here. And he uh, says to you, oh, you, oh sorry, uh, you, you've come upon us. You spooked us there. Uh, did you, uh, would you mind giving us a hand? We're trying to get out of here. I would like to make a wisdom roll. Yeah, go for it. Target is I 12. Want to, I want to try to see if I can, you know, look at the cart mm -hmm. just to have a make sure that this isn't a robbery that I just walked on, you know? Sure. sure. Yeah, let's see what you see. All right. I'm just your friendly guy who sees nothing wrong. Yeah, it looks like a cart. <laughs> it looks like a cart. Uh, you do, I mean, with that, you can see at least that the, the horses here, what look like horses, are... Uh, they basically have the body shape of a horse, but they do have reptilian scales kind of going down their body uh, towards their hoofs. Instead of having hooves, they actually have kind of gnarled looking claws. And uh, this vehicle in front of you just has a big, it looks like a, it's wood. And there's also some bits of steel sort of bolted onto the side of it. And that's what you see. So that was your move and turn. Is there any action you'd like to take? Nope, this is it for me. Okay. All right, next up, is it, uh, Felix. Bye. Um, I would like to... Foshnod disappeared and came back. Okay. Yes. Um, I would like to 
Um, a bit closer. If I go to say here, can I? Is the back of the car open, or is it? It's all sealed. Yeah, it looks like just kind of a big metal wooden box on the back. And I check around. Can I essentially just look around to see if there's anyone else that we're not seeing? Uh, yes. Give me a. Let's see. Where is your position? Yeah. Give me a. I would say give me int, probably. No, give me wisdom over this, sorry. Wisdom, yep. Um, and it helped that I've got keen eyed, which means I ignore detrimental effects to my vision, including smoke, low light, fog, etc. Yeah, go for it. So we're so uh, we'll, so we'll allow you to see it, and let's make this easy for you. Okay. Uh, ten. So yeah, that makes it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, with that, um, as you're kind of peering around this corner, um, you can see that there is a figure that has been uh, sort of lurking in these uh, trees behind you. Uh, then I will shout out towards the figure and go, Hi! I can see you! Uh, and as soon as you say that, the figure uh, makes a dash for it. And they... Uh, concealed once again um, then I'll just say guys I think there's someone over here and because that's it okay and as you say that um, you see that these characters starting to fidget a bit up here um, at the idea that you had seen something and uh, this one starts kind of waving he comes out to the tree and says oh, oh I see there's more of your type here uh, can you guys uh, give us a hand please uh, most appreciative. Um, I am going to say, yeah, the as the strong ones can. I'll just, I'll just stay here, and I won't pull out the gun, but I'll put my hand on the burst pistol. Hmm. So uh, just keep keep looking in that general direction. Interesting. Let's see if they see you put your hand on the pistol. Oh, they see it. Uh, so when they see that, this character comes out here, she steps from behind him, and you can see her knocking an arrow to her bow, but keeping it pointed towards the ground. I noticed that. Am I looking either way? Yeah, you would see this, for sure. Um, I'll just chat back. Hey, no problem with you, but there's someone out here hiding, so until I can see... Everyone all in the same place, I'm going to be as wary as you are. Uh, and this figure would come up and he goes, Oh, that, there's nothing out here. That's crazy talk. Uh, 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 let's just let's just keep uh, moving over here. And uh, it will sort of beckon over to this person. You can see them moving with haste. And um, this female figure, she sort of takes out some tools and she's kind of sort of working on this, this wheel trying to get it out of the mud. All right, and uh, let's continue. Let's go to Vashnar. Uh, yeah, so can I say, uh, at that moment when Felix saw that woman, mm -hmm. I will react and look look in that direction as well, and does that mean that I see her as well? Um, you can try. <laughs> you don't have the sight. You uh, called out, so you can definitely, you can give a roll if you want to see, but at this point she would have vanished before your big, uh, hulking body would even have time to turn around and suss out what he was, uh, screaming at, but if you want to try to look, you could. It would be uh, oh. hard for you. The fog is really coming in and out. It's difficult to see. Okay, so I will, I will tell this guy, no threats, no hidden friends, and we will help you. Is it no threats and no what else? Oh, no tricks and no hidden friends, and we will help you. He goes, oh, yes, no, 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 we, there's no friends here. It's just us. Well, there is one behind us. Oh, no, I, I, I brought all the friends I have. They're, they're right here. He goes, isn't, isn't that right? Uh, and he looks at this character and he goes, uh, 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 Jennifer. <laughs> uh, I will basically, uh, Tell Felix to keep a lookout and look for that 
precious lady, and uh, I will move towards Galileo. Okay, yeah, put your token there. All right, now our new player is currently not in the scene just yet. Um, I would like you to roll a d20. Ooh, I can see a source of water. Very nice. All right. So with a 15, you are able to uh, sort of come out of this sort of haze, this dreamlike state. And when you do and you open your eyes, you're looking around, but there's no light in front of you. And as your pupils start to dilate and adjust, you start to sort of see there's a blue glow, almost like there's a square in front of you. Your hands and body feel very fatigued. Um, almost atrophy, like you haven't used them in an extremely long time. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to try to reach out and touch the blue square in front of me. Sure. Uh, and when you do, you immediately see the reflection of your hand on this screen in front of you, this blue outline and uh you're moving and there's sort of a sort of haze that's kind of inside of this box that you're in and you can see the reflection and what you see is a female dwarf in front of you and as you are moving around sort of sussing to find a way out you can see that there's something that is on top of this box and you're not able to quite move it okay. you can hear sounds of almost like pistons Something that is trying to make its way to, to do a motion or movement, but it's not quite opening. All right. And we'll count that as your turn for that one. Uh, all right. And then we will go to... Back to the top. So, GM's turn. Um, and the character here... Uh, you're going to run over to the top here. And you see them uh, frantically sort of jumping up and down and sort of yelling at this character... Jennifer, as he called them, and uh, he is working to see if he can do this. So they're going to take a roll real quick. We're also going to put a timer out. Nothing. Um, so we have, let's see how many turns, sorry. Gotcha. One turn. Very nice. Normally um, you're supposed to re-roll a one. <laughs> not in this game. So that is the turn timer. There is one turn before this person is able to get it, but not with the roll like that. They are trying. They are, you can see them working frantically. They cautionly, they keep looking back at you. Um, this Jennifer character still has her sort of eyes trained on Galileo and Voxnar. She narrows them as she sees you approaching, getting a little too close for comfort, perhaps. All right, back to the top. Galileo. Galileo's gonna be a walk over. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, no, don't worry. I'll definitely help you. You know, <laughs> I'm good at this kind of stuff. And you know, he pull he he pulls out his uh, walking stick and he's like, you see, I see your problem right here. Yeah, your wheels are stuck. And he's gonna slide the walking stick into the wheels. Mm -hmm. Into but, spokes. Uh, There's like spokes around it. Uh, yeah. Or do you want to put uh, it under the wheel? Well, you know how I'm, I'm guessing the wheels got like you know holes and stuff in it, right? Yeah, the spokes are on the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm putting it in the it there, not to actually help get the wheel unstuck. I'm gonna try to use my leverage to break the wheel off the cart. Oh, okay, very nice. Uh, yes, go for that. The target is twelve. Okay. Target is twelve. Come on, walking stick. This could be what you do. And that one would break <laughs> it. Ooh. Okay, fourteen. Very nice. So I'm getting I'm getting a smile right. <laughs> yeah. So as you are able to uh yes, you expertly put your walking stick inside of a hole. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh you jam it in there, no problem. Um and when you do that, you are you using your strength, right? Or would you say you're using your dex? Yeah, that, that was my strength. You know, like I'm literally okay. trying to use this as leverage to break the wheel off the car. And I'm going to be like, oh, no. Ah, oh, man. Okay. My bad. So gain yourself one strength for that. Oh, sweet. So you get a stat increase plus one strength. And on top of that, uh, let's say 
that as you're doing that, roll for me uh, weapon damage. And you could add your strength to that. <laughs> the way that dice came out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then roll for me uh, a d10, please. There are ten spokes on this wheel. How many have you broke? You broke the whole damn Ooh. wheel. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the goal. <laughs> nice. So you, yeah, you, with a stick, you expertly smash this thing. Uh, and the wheel, you know, the, the cart's already kind of looking real sad state. It's half in this mud already, and it's the whole back end just kind of collides down. And gonna, immediately yeah. this uh, little figure, this half-raven bird man comes, What have you done, you fool? What have and, I uh, done? You brought a cheap cart. This thing is garbage. Cheap. I tried to help you. Ah, uh, we've, we've, I paid many, many supplies for this. And, you got uh, ripped off, man. What can I say? You know, I'm just like standing there looking at the thing like I'm some kind of expert. <laughs> uh, interesting. Roll for me. God, it would be charisma, maybe. Roll for me It'd charisma. charisma. Roll yeah. charisma. See if you can deceive him. <laughs> I actually, we will I do a charisma did. roll off. All right, here we go. I rolled 18. Oh, my God. Oh, let's see what you got. 19! No! Oh. You got him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he he believes every ounce of bullshit you're serving up. And he goes, uh, uh, All right. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess you need to break a wheel before you can fix a wheel. Exactly. Uh, uh, you know, I know this is like a little bit of a thing I shouldn't ask, but instead of the plus one strength, can I get the plus one of the charisma? I feel like that was more important to the scene. Now, this brings up a good point. This would be the time in the hard suit game. Are you going to use oh, the magic phrase? My, you know what? Yes, this is what my character would mm. do. This whole scene. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So you have decided to call upon the magic saying that my character is oddly capable here, and this yeah. feels familiar to you. Right? Yeah, so, this... my job is to now award you with something that I think would be fitting for your character. Um, and you did, and this is based off of a charisma roll. Yeah, this is a uh, charisma roll. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm just looking at this car, I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I, it's uh, you bought a bad product, what can I say? Mm -hmm. I'm poking at it with my stick, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to grant you... The ability here. You're going to get... God, yeah, I think from what you just did. Yeah. You have just learned the ability Sabotage. And we will later oh, yeah. suss out what Sabotage is. But that's oh, what you that's... have. So write down Ability Sabotage. sabotage. You, have, you are a saboteur. That's... This is a fugitive ability. <laughs> Uh, That's fitting. Very fitting. All right. Nice turn. Jeez. That ends my turn. Wow. Felix. What are you up to? Um, you should be all the way. Because I, I saw the figure in like the bottom right corner, right? Yes. The figure uh, last you had seen was somewhere around here. So I'm going to move uh, that log there. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to shout. Um, so if... All the people you know are over there. I'm just gonna shoot at this tree. That's oh, not gonna I... cause any issues at all, is it? Interesting. So, uh, what are you using to shoot this tree? Uh, I'll pull out my burst pistol. Okay, burst pistol. Tell me about burst pistol. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So, it fires two shots at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to fire mm -hmm. i'm not actually aiming at anything i'm literally just trying to shoot as near to where i saw this figure mm -hmm. try not to like at higher up than normally would be because i don't know who this person is. i don't necessarily want to shoot into kill i'm shooting to just have everyone stop messing messing us around okay 
Go for it. So you're shooting blindly, basically, right? So let's think. Uh, target's 12, but your Veriscope, uh, read me that, because maybe you have a thing here with the Veriscope. Oh, yeah, see. so the, the Veriscope lets me visually tag a target. Yeah, so I'll, did you I'll have, always see I, a thing on it. Yeah, so I'm assuming maybe you wanted to have used the Veriscope, because the Veriscope is just a... It just happens, right? I mean, there's no role for it. So if I... Yeah, if I saw them, mm -hmm. then I'd want to have... Yeah. If I can retroactively ping them, I want it to have Yeah, them. I think that's fine. I think it's fair. So, again, these are all new abilities, so I'm not trying to lean into making things ultra difficult for you. So I do want you to have that. So it's a cool moment. Yes, you totally tag this person. So almost like Predator Vision, um, you've got this sort of haze, this red sort of, you know, uh, temperature reading that's kind of being given out. And uh, with your Veriscope, where is it? How is it? Describe it to me so we understand. Is it like a pair of goggles that you're wearing? Is it attached to the gun? How does the Veriscope so... work? I don't think it's attached to the gun. I think it's almost, it's like clipped onto the ridge of his shell. Mm. The, like his shell would be like behind his neck, almost like a collar. Mm. I think it's almost, it's like, it's fixed. So it's on the collar, but then okay. go in like, by the side of the head. Okay, it's but is it like, like Predator style display. where it kind of like goes up and then it's it goes a bit, <laughs> a bit, a bit Probably more Universal Soldier. With okay. The, you know, the eye. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. I love it. Yep. Perfect. So got, it is. It's attached to the shell, but it has this little lens, like kind of comes off. That's cool. Cool. All right. Yeah. So you see them uh, right there. Go ahead. Take your shot. So it's uh, it's still going to be uh, the hard shot, but at least you could see them this time. So if you hit, you will actually hit a target and not aimlessly into the woods. So that uh, target for you is going to be 15. That is 12 plus 3, hard 15. Oh, it's a nat 20, bro. 20. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a hit. And uh, <laughs> you rolled dex, correct? So uh, give yourself plus one dex for that nat 20. Okay. And uh, this is one of those dope times you might want to think about saying I was, phrase. yeah at this field this this feels like something that i do given, uh, given how this has happened this feels like something that i'm good at that's wild i love it oh my god okay so you're in yeah so this is the, the the gm's responsibility is to memorize these 40 different sort of skill sets and in my eye so i think oh my god i wonder i think you're all sort of leaning into this right now it's getting a little wild I'm probably going to say what you're doing feels very bullseye to me, which is another fugitive skill. You okay. have bullseye. Mm -hmm. We're all just going to end this game being fugitive, aren't we? <laughs> we don't know yet. We have we literally have no idea how this is going to suss out. There's so many abilities you guys can unlock here. So... 40 specific ones, yeah. So yeah, you have your bullseye. Well, when that comes into effect next time, we're going to talk about. It. But still, roll your damage because that is a hit for sure. You have two D eight and a D twelve. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Seventeen. That's Seventeen. Oh, okay. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, Seventeen. You see nothing but uh, blood spray and hair as this figure is just riddled to pieces. Their body slumps down okay. to the ground. And uh, I don't—I mean, all you hear is the the cacophony of these shots, sort of echoing through this region, this area. Uh, yeah, this person is is dead. Dead as dead could be. Okay. Yeah, there's just it, it, it's, it's just blood everywhere. The rocks are covered, smattering. Um, and now that sound has definitely triggered some shouts and things. Um, you can hear some noises, and the rest of you who are sort of out towards the the wagon here uh the character immediately she takes out and jumps on top of this roof uh jennifer and uh she sees you and she's immediately taking aim at you felix okay. and uh let's see and also who's around you nobody else no boxnar would see this not you um okay yes that's a very nice turn Remember, we also, uh, at the start of each session, we get back our grit dice as well, which is oh, yeah. a free D6 that you can add to anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. But you only get it once, which is separate than a, a hero coin, which is a mechanic unto itself. All right, very nice. And let's go back up to Vashnar. 
Uh, yes, for sure. So uh, I see this Jennifer uh, aiming at uh, in this general direction, and I assume it's Felix. So I will shoot at her. Okay. Uh, what are you shooting her with? Uh, my thumper pistol. Okay. Uh, read me thumper pistol so we can be clear on what this is going to do. Um, wait, where's my pistol? Heavy shell handgun with one hell of a kick. Yeah. I like that part. One hell of a kick. That's what we're going to pay attention to. All right. So uh, it's not hard for you, it says, right? It's just, I mean, you're close range. So I think the target actually would probably be easy. But if you're shooting this thing, it's it sounds like a shotgun. Am I mistaken? Is it a shotgun or not? Uh, I will imagine it does something like a shotgun. Okay. Because then that but means you've got a spray a pattern versus a direct shot, right? But it's a pistol, so a pistol. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, we will roll for it, because that's how it works in Hardsuit. If we don't know, instead of fussing with rules, we roll dice to determine. So uh, the GM will roll the dice, and what we're going to do is, on a 1 to 3, this is a sort of single-shot explosion. On uh, a 4 to 6, this is a spray shot with a kick, okay? Which means, if it okay. turns out to be that, you will hit everybody within sort of a cone. Make sense? Yeah. The dice will tell us. Here we go. It's a spray pattern. Uh, oh my god. Yep. So make sure you mark that down. That is how that gun will fire now. It's a spray pattern. Yeah, yeah. It's... But it's going to be uh, a, a knockback as well. So it's a hell of a kick, I think, for all involved. So go ahead and roll. See if you can hit the target. I mean, you're close, so I'm actually going to give this to you at easy. Yeah, you just made it. Wow. Oh my god. Yep. So you hit everybody in range. Uh starting with oh you're aiming up, but the blast is still going out. So roll damage and then we're gonna allocate. So I'm once again just shooting my allies, right? <laughs> I mean you have a MO. You really do. <laughs> this is something you enjoy. Thanks. Uh, so... This feels oddly familiar. Yeah, this feels really <laughs> familiar. Yeah, friendly fire is your new ability. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a it's a d six. I thought it was a gun. The gun would be d eight. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Gun will be a d eight. Mm -hmm. uh, nice gun. There we go. Nice. And do you have any bonuses to gun at all? Uh, no. Oh, I don't think so. Well, guess what? Now you do. Because that's hard suit. You gain yourself yes. uh, plus one to gun effort for that. So you actually okay. do seven damage to everybody because I like it. Yes. So everybody takes seven damage. Uh, Galileo, I mean, you're just standing there, but yeah, you get shot to pieces with this <laughs> trial, this, this gun. We did we roll for how much? Uh, how many ammunition do you had? I know we did. For oh, Okay, so roll no. me roll me a uh, d12, and then that's how many bullets you got. Oh. Seven minus one, you got Seven. six. Yep, so you're down to six shots. Yeah. All right. Yep. So everybody takes their damage. Um, as you do that, this uh, figure. On the top here, I mean, she's bleeding out, not quite dead, but she definitely looks rougher. And uh, I did seven, right? Yeah, she's looking rough. Uh, same thing with this guy here. She's not the only one. <laughs> um, and that shot that, you know, as it went and hit into the side of this thing, sort of covered in a, this canopy as well. And when you do that, you see that there is a sort of tarp that's on it and uh, almost like a banner. <clears throat> and it, as you blast away, you can see that it, it sheds this banner to pieces and there is a uh, an etching on the side of this metal and in fact uh, some of you uh, all of you and presently in the party would have seen this before this symbol looks uh, essentially like uh, what you had seen previously on the beach with the one crap it's the same symbol it matches and it's sort of this hooked sort of thing it looks like sort of a star I'll put it up here so we can reference it and that's what you see sort of painted on the side, yeah. 
I guess we would describe it a little bit better here. I'll probably say that it looks more like... Yeah, it's like a hook, and then it's surrounded by four other hooks around it. These are just crabs piloting their own hard suits. We don't know. We know nothing. All right, nice turn. So we figured out your spray bullets, and you've got yourself plus one to your gun. Can I must move? Uh, yeah, you can still move. I mean, well, oh, it has a hell of a kick, doesn't it? Yeah. Roll to stay on your feet. Hard. Yeah. Wait, the kick is for me or yeah. for... Yeah, it's a it's, kick. It's the guy who got That's shot. That's a blanket <laughs> statement kick. It's kickback. It's kickback for you. It's kickback for them. Go ahead. Uh, so what should I roll? So you're going to roll D, uh, D20 D and you need to beat a 15. Wouldn't it be like a con roll? Hmm... Yeah, I guess con would make sense, yeah. Does anybody disagree with con? No way! Oh. Wow. Bah, bah, bah. Nice. I, that is awesome. I I remember to st stay on my feet all the time. Another d20. Oh, he, he now, wants to use the phrase. Would you like to use your magic phrase here? Does your character feel oddly yeah. capable? Very nice. Yep, yep. Oh my I never lose my God. fucking... <laughs> Oh my god. Good luck with that one, Ogbe. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> there are many things that could have been this thing for sure. Uh so you I never some... lose my yeah, yeah, you don't lose your footing. That's the main thing, right? Is that you are holding your ground. Um goodness gracious. Maybe this one is gonna be I can't right. believe I got shot just so you can get an ability to not lose your footy. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to come back to this one, but I, there's there's three that I'm thinking of that could work for you. So let me make a note of that, yeah. So this is going to be, you get your, uh, so Vashnar ability. It would be for holding your ground, right? Just firm footing or something? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yes. Um, I have an idea of what it is, but I don't want to say it until I have really sussed out which one it is. Like I said, there are there's little variances between them, but I'm also thinking about your characters and sort of overall what I think they're they're aiming for, if that makes sense. But yes, there is an ability here that is totally for you. Yeah. And this is so. And as a reminder too, these abilities that are gained this way, there's only one per session. And this is mm -hmm. part of an easy way for you guys to do that. Also, we are counting experience as well. So kills uh, will rank you guys up essentially in experience, which will help you gain abilities as well. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, so you stay on your footing. Now let's see if Galileo, how do you feel? Roll me con hard. <laughs> Why are you I'm so this? sorry, Galileo. <laughs> you know, sorry, you He's did not, this. <laughs> not sorry. Oh wait! What a nat oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is something <laughs> my character would do. <laughs> You've used yours. You already got it. <laughs> just Get joking. out of here! You, <laughs> you can't drop us, man. You can't just. Oh, uh, you know, I'll I'll take a stab. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, you're good. You just you front. <laughs> so take the hit. Oh, this this oh, fine. Oh, fine. this party will stand us down. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I... let's let's roll for a little uh bird guy here. Should I be keeping track of mastery? Yes, please. Wow, he does. Oh, oh. And then uh, oh. she rolls a nat oh. one. Oh. So with a nat one, uh, Jennifer. Uh, falls off of the wagon onto her neck, and you hear the bone-crunching sound as her weight and legs come over her head. Jennifer is dead. Uh, little dude here, Birdman, gets pushed into the horses, and uh, <laughs> with his stab... Let me roll something here. Let's see if it happens. Yeah. Uh, he has a staff in his hand that falls to the ground. And when he does, um, the staff hits the ground, and it immediately fires wide a blast of fiery energy. Oh, and I'm gonna roll a, oh, uh, a I'm gonna roll a D8, which is sort of my directions, as if it's a clock, and that will tell me where this thing shoots. What are the odds? 
A four. Very nice. So from the 12 o'clock position, he shoots four. He actually shoots into the wagon here. And uh, when he does... I'm going to reveal something. Moment. You see that the back of the wagon pops off. And inside of it, there is essentially what looks like the pods you guys were in when you were on the boat. First getting here. All right, nice turn. Bashnar, you did your shooting. I will just quick, uh -huh. it's... quickly move here and put my gun on uh, this guy's head, like on his body. Oh, okay. In a threatening way, yeah. Okay, well, he's currently on his back, you know, dazed, and his wand just shot out, and that's where he's uh, at. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, don't move, don't make any funny moves. Okay, okay. Yeah. we'll see what he does. Yeah. All right, and then we'll go to uh, Ant Bear. All right, so um, I want to like pull my knees up to my chest if I can. Uh, you cannot. And then you're, you're sort of in like a coffin. I cannot. You can. You're bumping okay. your knees into it as you try. Gotcha. All right. Well, that answers that question. Well, you know, what? let's roll this because um, as they had blasted the top, I would say also that that sort of handle has come free. The thing that was barring you shut. So I think if uh, right now okay. you can hear the pistons or uh, that weight has been removed and they're sort of, you know, working gotcha. as if they want to open, but they're waiting for somebody or something to, to do something about it. Well, I just want to push as hard as I can. Yes. So uh, to push, let's do this. So the first thing you do, right? So you open up, you're going to push as hard as you can. Roll me a D20 and we'll say that things have been loosened up for you. So it'll be easy. Just missed it. Just missed it. But you have a grit dice. Would you like to use your grit? That would add a d6, you which know, means you wouldn't have failed. You know I do. Let's All use right. that grit die. You did it. Boom. Grit die. You pass. And when you do that, you are able to find inside of here this sort of lever. You pull this thing, and immediately the... As it comes up. Um, you can see there's more fog on the outside. And um, standing around you, you can see... Uh, probably the first thing you would see is a giant hulking mass of an elf looking character. Um, these faces nice. do seem familiar to you, but in the sort of haze and, you know, your current state, you're having a hard time sussing out what or who this is. Uh, what would you like to do? You can take another action. Uh, I'm oh, all right. did you roll? I'd I'm like sorry, what did you roll for that? You rolled your what? Is it strange? Uh, yeah, strength. Yes, so uh, give yourself plus one strength. Plus one strength. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to kind of sit up, look around the fog. Um, I see these faces that are somewhat familiar to me, and um, I want to ask, like, where are we? What's what's happening? And uh, you're asking that towards Bashar? Uh, yes. Get yeah, Bashar. You see the, in front of you this uh, dwarf female who is sort of waking up, hair sort of tattered, um, and similar to you guys had waking up, uh, very, you know, shambly looking clothes, and they're just kind of sussing out and they're staring right at you. What do you do when you see this character? Oh, well, it's, it looks like another war master. I tell that to Galileo and uh, I will... Uh, give my hand to Antbear and say that we don't have all the answers, but we are seeking them. All right, so I will take the elf's hand and accept some some help jumping out of this coffin or capsule or whatever it is and try to stand up and see if my legs work. Yes, um, and as you do and you go to extend and you reach out, your hand, you notice, is covered in red tattoos all over. And these tattoos resemble some kind of spiderweb-like pattern. Um, and, in fact, Vashnar, you would see this as well. On the clothes that she's wearing, it would say somewhere above the chest here, a little title. And it says, Red Hand. And it's in quotes. 